Now, when it comes to this S650 Mustang, I believe it's going to be the best-selling Mustang in all of Mustang history. Now, the S650 Mustang is going to come with multiple trims. It's going to come with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. It's going to come with the 5.0 in both convertible and uh, hard top form. It's going to come with a Dark Horse a Dark Horse S and a Dark Horse R version, which is basically going to be a stripped down track only version of their S650 Mustang. Now, let's talk about this interior. It's utterly amazing. Now, this is the best interior of any Mustang in the history of Ford building these things. Now, the crazy part is Ford didn't only pay attention to detail, but they paid attention and understood the assignment. Von Gittin Jr. has been helping them calibrate the parking brake, which is also going to serve as a drift e-brake in this thing, like standard in all of them, even a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. They even built the GT3 S650 Mustang that they are going to enter in the summer of 2024 in the 24 hours of Le Mans. Now, Ford is in their bag. Let's also not forget that the C8Z06 is a 5.5 flat plane crank powered 670 horsepower monster. Now, with all of this going on in the car community, it leads me to one question. What the hell is Chevy doing with the Camaro? I know a lot of y'all thinking, oh, it's got the LT1 and this and that. And when you do X, Y, Z, honestly... I think the Gen 6 Camaro was pretty unnecessary because if you go back to the 5th Gen, it's utterly perfect. Yeah, the interior isn't quite nice, but they could have improved upon it. Like, it's like the 6th Gen Camaro SS. It's like a part two to a movie that was already summed up in the first movie. What I think happened was that Ford saw that they're about to end this thing in like 2023 or 2024 and capitalized on the S650 Mustang. Just utterly showed out. Ford got lazy with the Camaro. Just like how um, Dodge got lazy with the Chrysler 300C. Oh, we're now bringing the 6.4 liter Hemi back in this thing. Okay, cool. What else did y'all do to it? Um, just we, we put the 6.4 Hemi in it. Want to know how bad things have gotten? This is the Genesis X convertible concept. It's an electric car. And this motherfucker is beautiful. Damn, they want to cry. And this is the same car from the side, a hard top. It should not look this good. GM, you could do something just as amazing, but no, y'all want to end production of Camaro and drop a Blackwing engine in it. That is lazy building. But no, you're going to release it and sell it for about 100K.